So yesterday's video got taken down, which is just uh, terrific, just fantastic. I mean, a lot of shit went down, but I'm not going to get into it. So if you saw the video, great. And if you didn't see the video, I guess you'll never see it. So too fucking bad. But today, I'm going to be making a video uh, in, in a form that n no one has ever done on the face of YouTube, okay? Including myself. But today, I'm going to be telling a life story, okay? So sit back, but don't grab popcorn because I've been saying that in all my recent videos. And hey, I'm just looking out for your guys' health. If you eat popcorn every single time I upload, you, you, you might have some issues, okay? Or, I mean, if you really wanted to, you could just, you know, grab the popcorn. I mean, it's your choice. Maybe grab some meth on the way up as well. Some black tar Mexican heroin. I mean, it's your life, man. But today, I'm going to be telling a story that happened back in, like, 7th grade. It was, like, I think it might have been 6th grade. But it was, like, really early middle school, right? And I don't know if this is a really common thing or not. But back in my middle school, there was always, like, 1 to 2 to 3 chicks who dated people that were, like, in fucking college. Like, it was weird as hell. And it's almost more weird now because I'm 20 years old, right? And if it weren't for this YouTube stuff, I would just be an average, broke-ass, boring-ass college student. And I couldn't even imagine myself dating someone in, like, 6th grade or some shit. Like, could you imagine that? Well, I'm sure you guys could, because, I mean, I have a fucking baby face, but still. But there was this girl I knew back in middle school, and we're just gonna be calling her, uh, fucking, uh, Anne Frank. Yeah, Anne Frank. But, uh, Anne Frank here dated someone back in middle school who was straight up, like, a college student. And it was gross as fuck. But we're we're gonna be calling the college student today. Uh, I don't know, man. Let's go with, uh, how about Jared from Subway? But Jared from Subway was fucking weird, dude. I don't know how else to say it. Like, this dude used to pull up to the school in his SUV, pick up his sixth grade girlfriend. Dude, this guy's in high school slash college. And he used to make out with her in the car. To kind of give you, like, a mental image of him, he used to always wear, like, baggy hoodies and, like, baggy beanies. And he kind of looked like a homeless guy. But overall, Jared from Subway, not the coolest guy. Just in my opinion, dude. But without further ado, guys, sit back, relax, and welcome to the Jared from Subway experience. Enjoy. It all started one depressing afternoon sitting there in class when eventually the bell rings. Ding, 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 ding. Oh my god, I'm so happy. Everybody gets out of their seats, runs outside, and I go and meet my group of friends right outside the school, okay? Now we're all sitting there, we're talking. When we see, uh, fucking Anne Frank here, right? Now I'm not gonna lie, in 6th or 7th grade standards, Anne Frank was pretty fucking hot, and everybody kind of liked Anne Frank, okay? So she walks out, and my group of friends are kind of looking at her when she gets into a, uh, SUV, right? And Guess who's in that SUV? It's fucking Jared. We're kind of still looking at her, which, I mean, it sounds pretty creepy if you really think about it, but hey, we're like in 6th, 7th grade, okay? Calm down, everybody. But we're just sitting there, we're kind of looking at her, right? And we're thinking that the person's car that she just got into, or the SUV, or fucking Jared, is like her older brother, maybe daddy, we're not really sure, right? But we're just sitting there assuming these things when our assumptions are fucking shattered. And she goes up and fucking tongue kisses Jared from Subway. That's right. Fucking Anne Frank is tongue kissing Jared from Subway. And it's it's gross, dude. She's like 12, 13, 14. I don't fucking know. And he's like a college student. But yeah, me and my friends are kind of freaking out at this point in time, dude. And Frank, someone that we used to respect, someone that we used to like, is, is fucking making out with a dude that looks like my dad. Like, shit. After that, they peel out, go back, and, you know, probably do something that's maybe even against the law. But we see that, we all go home, and there you go, dude. But, uh, fast forward a couple of weeks, and everyone now knows that Anne Frank is going out with fucking Jared from Subway, right? Now, don't get me wrong, dude. Apparently, there were some girls that were, like, roasting her because she was going out with the Jared guy, but honestly, it wasn't that big of a deal until this went down, okay? So school gets out this one day, and me and my friends are hanging out on the outside of the school, just basically where we wait for our ride at, right? So we're sitting there, we're just chilling, when an SUV rolls up. And a spoiler alert, it's fucking Jared, okay? So Jared's right behind us. Everybody in the group kind of gets quiet, and we just kind of sit there in complete silence while Jared is just right behind us, okay? So we're sitting there, we're just standing around when we see Anne Frank, and she's running for the SUV, runs right through our little group and gets in the SUV, which is right behind us, and just immediately starts making out with fucking Jared from Subway, right? Just gross, sloppy making out. And at this point in time, a lot of my friends are looking at them a few of them are giggling 
And that's when Jared, Jared the fucking pussy slayer, decides to roll down his windows and say this. Uh, what are you faggots looking at, huh? What are you laughing at? Now, I'm not gonna lie, dude. Myself and many other people that was in my little group of friends just shut down. We were like, oh, God, we don't, I don't want to fuck with Jared, dude. Jared's big guy. Jared's, like, 25 years old. I just don't want to. No, please, no. However, dude, of all the people in my group that shut down, there was one man that stood up to Jared. We're gonna be calling him Jesus Christ. Now, Jesus Christ, better known as JC, decides to go in light at first. He just says, we're not looking at anything. What are you talking about? That's when Jared here says, no, you're fucking laughing at me. Why are you laughing? That's when JC decided to, to completely destroy him, right? And again, this is in sixth grade. So understand, for someone to say this to uh, Jared here, it was pretty intense. But Jesus Christ decides to say, because you're gay and my whole group of friends start laughing our asses off at jared jared on the other hand though is not laughing at all jared angry get this fucking shit after my friend jesus christ decides to call jared gay jared gets out of his fucking car and says i'm gonna kick your fucking ass and starts walking towards us uh, jared what jared you're like in high school slash college what are you doing dude but yeah believe it or not jared actually got out of his car and started walking towards us now i don't think he would have like actually stabbed me or punched me but as soon as he got out of his car everybody just booked it like that was it dude we're done we're not gonna fucking attack jared i mean that would be hilarious. Like, can you imagine if Jared gets out of his car and we just all come at him and start attacking him from different angles? Jared gets fucking pepper sprayed in the eyes. He can't see. He's fallen backwards. We all lift him up off the ground, throw him into a huge ditch. That's it. Never see Jared again. I mean, it's definitely possible. There was like 10 of us, dude. Jared was not a big guy. Like, Jared, dude, we could have fucking destroyed you. You were walking into the dark on that one. To be honest, we could still destroy you. Jared, if you're watching this video, we can and we will fucking wreck you, Jared beware yeah jared got out of his car and we all just kind of booked it and after that man we never saw jared again i think we scared him off he never actually showed up to the carpool spot again so i mean i guess i guess it was a victory for us victory man how does that fucking feel jared huh how does that feel jared you enjoying your subway sandwiches jared huh <laughs> But I hope you guys enjoyed this video today, and if you did, it's your lucky day, because on the last video I made that got taken down yesterday, I was giving out my phone number for every person that liked the video, so today, we're gonna be doing a combo pack. So if you liked the video today, you will be receiving my phone number, my social security number, my blood type, and, and, and my penis. Uh, what? No, no scam? Jokes aside, though, I hope you guys enjoyed this video today. If you can't tell, I'm still a little bit sick. But regardless, thank you guys so much for all the support, and thanks for watching. Peace, peace, guys. Also, fuck your subway, Jared.